Nearly 14 years after the Clyde cancer cluster started to make headlines, the investigations are done. The lawsuits have been dropped. But the stories of these families continued to haunt one former Toledo reporter. So he's written a book to keep the memories of these children alive. The young girl on the cover of the book is Alexa Brown. It's titled, Is My Child Next? Written by former Toledo reporter Jonathan Walsh. When you cover a, a particular story and it just grabs hold of you, and it wouldn't let go. In the book, Walsh chronicles Alexa Brown's story, along with other Clyde families whose children were diagnosed with cancers back around 2006. At the time, Walsh followed Alexa's story with her parents, Warren and Wendy. You just get taken back to that point in time. Alexa died in 2009 from brain cancer, but her parents' fight for answers didn't stop eventually leading to state and EPA investigations into a possible cause. As a multiple Emmy award-winning investigative reporter in Cleveland, Walsh says the lack of any final answers in this story still haunts him. It's one of the most frustrating things to this day of my career. Walsh says the thought now is that whatever was in Clyde and caused the cancer has literally left with the wind. They didn't all go to the same school, per se, and play on the same playground, and they didn't drink from the same water source. So the only commonality to me as an outsider is the air. So perhaps something was in the air at the time. The Browns say they have found peace with it. As the time was drawing near that she would pass away, I leaned down to her and I said, I'm never going to give up. I'm going to turn over. We're going to turn over every stone that we can possibly turn over. I feel like we did that. Every penny from the book goes into Alexa's Butterflies of Hope, which gives grants to families of children battling cancer. But I know she would want good to come from it. If you'd like more information on the book or Alexa's Butterflies and the foundations associated with it, I'll put all the links on our website at 13abc.com. In Clyde, Melissa Vage, 13ABC Action News, back to you.